Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Workshop video. As always, I am joined by Mad Zuri. Greetings. And we are here doing some solar layouts. Uh, we haven't actually done any of these in this series yet, and figured it was about time. These are ones we just built, uh, not submitted. Surprisingly, no one has submitted them. And, uh, and yeah, we'll start with these down here, and then we have a bigger version up top, which is Zuri's Mark III design, uh, which you can go over. And, uh, and yeah, so starting here, we have essentially a very basic kind of starter version, uh, 12 accumulators, 16 solar panels, and you would consider this like a, like a Mark II Zuri or a Mark I? Yeah. Uh, you start off with the Mark I as just a bunch of poles with, you know, solar panels mixed in. A Mark II is the closer to better ratio with uh, stampable and tileable like this is. And then a Mark III is all of those combined with a robo port so it self-constructs. Right. Perfect. So, so yeah, this is kind of like a Mark II. Uh, it is worth noting that this is, is not the perfect ratio or correct ratio. The correct ratio is 0.84. And for anyone who's confused what that means, it's 0.84 accumulators per solar panel in order to have your solar panels charge your accumulators enough during the day for the accumulators to supply enough energy at night for, for your factory to run. And, uh, and yeah, so this is actually a ratio of 0.75, so it is a bit low. And, and Zuri mentioned, though, before the video that you can kind of make up for that by building just straight accumulator setups like this in addition. And, uh, and yeah, so did the math really quick and, and for each one of these, you would need about one or two extra accumulators. Um, this is like, well, it's like one and a half <laughs> accumulators short, if, probably better to round up. Um, you would need like two extra accumulators per one of these you stamp down to have the correct ratio. Um, and then this guy up here, about, uh, no, go ahead. 32 of these that you need then build one of these. Right, yeah. So one of these would account for 32 of these. And then this guy is literally just four of these. Uh, you know, two on top, two to the side. But this is just a bigger version in case you don't want to mess with that little teeny one. And you can do this, you know, just multiply however big you want. Add the extra accumulators, you should be good to go. And then uh, down here we just have some straight Solar panels, some people prefer their solar panels to be separate from their accumulators. If so, stuff like this. Um, this one is okay. It wastes a little space, and it's not as clean as the one you built down here, really, Zuri. Even though it uses small poles? Yeah. It uses small poles, but it looks good. Uh, you know, symmetrical. So that is, uh, you know, two types of things you can do with that. And then we'll move up and let Zuri cover his Mark III up here. Hmm. All right. So it was designed by me a, about a year and a half ago. Maybe as much as two. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it was at someone's request. And ever since then, I've been quite fond of, the, of this Mark III design ever since. And I've seen plenty of other designs. Uh, this is made to tessellate with this little insert, this um, accumulator to overlap from design to design so you don't mess it up. Right. And so that'll be max RoboPort range. And pretty close but not quite perfect ratio. Yeah, it's like a like 0.82 or something, which is still pretty darn close. And and yeah, symmetrical, which is always good, right? But it's not rotationally symmetrical. So if you build it, make sure it's uh, rotated the right way because it'll look funny. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, because these accumulators in the middle are uh, a little bit different based on what way you rotate it. And uh, and yeah, so the robot port. In the middle, which is good, make sure robots can build it and scalable. 
close to perfect ratio. In total, it has 196 solid panels, 166 accumulators, and 16 substations, and then obviously the robo port. And I don't. Do you know off the top of your head, Zuri, how much one of these energy wise will supply? I can push buttons to calculate real quick. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do that just so people can see. It's a it's a fair bit. 8.8 megawatts. Awesome. I mean, that's, you know, for, for fairly early game, you know, that's pretty good um, for, for just one of these. And then you can just tile it out and it works, uh, it works really well. I believe that that's really it, guys. We just wanted to show you some solar layouts, uh, you know, and, and give you the ratio thing if, if you didn't know about that and, and some different designs to use. There's plenty more. You know, you can come up with your own. It's actually quite fun to experiment with that. You know, I made my own in Building Big, and other people have done tons of their others, uh, you know, their own. Zuri's probably made different ones as well. And, and, yeah, tons of stuff to do. Indeed. Well, cool. Unless you have any other thing to say, um, I think uh, I think we'll call it. Oh, that's good. Sounds good. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and it was helpful. Any feedback, comments, suggestions, leave down in the comments as well. Submissions, we are running very low on submissions. And uh, again, anything works, any designs pretty much, do leave them down there if you have them. But until next time, we will catch you later. Later.